Kasunod ang pagpapasalamat ko sa aking sa aking magulang, ang aking mami. At hindi ko po nakalimutan yung kanyang sinabi nung ako po ay nag-aaral pa sa theology. Sabi po niya, hindi po siya titigil na magtinda ng mangga at kamatis doon sa Makati. Titigil lang po siya kapag ako po ay tapos na mag-aral. Naawa ko sa kanya kasi minsan natutulog po sila sa kalye para bantayan po yung kanilang paninda. Para sa pag-uwi ko, mayroon po siyang maibigay sa akin. Today and every day is a right time to be grateful and to remember. Today, the Diocese of Alaminos is very grateful to remember the dedication of our cathedral under the patronage of St. Joseph, to whom Pope Francis has dedicated this liturgical year. There is one word that captures the celebration today, and that is dedication. Dedication is simply defined as a sacred act of setting aside a place or church, especially for sacred purposes like prayers, worship, and liturgy. Reverend Ephraim, this must be your priesthood to bring God to the people and to walk with the people closer to God. Our priesthood is a lifetime dedication to God for a divine mission for compassion and companionship. What is priestly compassion? Reverend Ephraim, as a priest, you are an ambassador of God's compassion. Compassion is not about feeling pity for the rejected and then wanted Zacchaeuses in your parish. Compassion is to suffer with and for others. This can be done because compassion knows no boundaries, knows no name or titles or position. Compassion is a restlessly seeking and giving now to see what others do not see to feel what others do not feel and to embrace what others could not embrace love means putting your heart on the line for others it means showing mercy to love like jesus in this story of Zacchaeus is to be a love and be a compassion in person. For your peace, God seeks the short and saves the lost. Be the living gospel that proclaims God never forgets, God always remembers. God goes out to look for the lost sheep and welcome them back to the fold. Go out of your comfort to seek the Zacchaeuses in your parish. Make your every day with the people count as a day of grace, a day of mercy, and a day of being found by Jesus to be with you. What is priestly companion? But the story of Zacchaeus articulates to us a different role of a tree as a means of encountering Jesus. In the life of the Catholic Church, there are many saints and religious men and women who have served as our trees in our climb to holiness. Through centuries, we have seated on their shoulders, as it were, on their branches of their tree of holiness. 
It is their earnest desire to have a glimpse of Jesus. They climb the tree of holiness not only once, but many times. We rely on their experiences and their realizations. Oftentimes, they slide back. But most of the time, they climb harder and hold on to stronger branches to reach the level of holiness. They have become our trees with whom we will see Jesus. They are our companions as we climb the tree of holiness. Reverend Ephraim, the journey of a priest to holiness is never a private step, nor a personal achievement you could be proud of. More than the level and height of holiness you have to climb is the number of companions you have to walk with. We need you, Reverend Ephraim, as a priest brother, to walk us back again. We need you as a priest companion to push us up to climb back to our tree of holiness. We need you as our priest's brother because together we are companions toward Jesus. The capacity to climb to holiness is the ability to journey with others with humble admittance that we can be holy because our companions are help to us. Can you be a brother to all? Can you be a branch that we can hold on to in our struggle to climb the tree of holiness? Can you be a tree as we await the moment to have a glimpse of Jesus through you? Make your every day with the people count as a day of encountering Jesus through your life of humility and service, a day of mercy, when words of encouragement and forgiveness comes out of your heart, and a day of being found by Jesus to be with you. Reverend Ephraim, be our companion, be our tree to provide us an opportunity to encounter Jesus in our lives. Reverend Ephraim, learn the life of Zacchaeus. Remember that God is a compassionate to all, to those who seek. And remember also to be a companion to others singing for Jesus. Dedicate your priesthood to be uniquely set aside as a priest with a heart always ready to listen and as a brother with a time to embrace the loss, the least and the last. Like our patron Saint Joseph, always ready to listen, to trust God even in times of uncertainty. Saint Joseph is our father of trusting obedience and our brother who protects his children following Jesus. May God be with you, Reverend Ephraim. Your priesthood should now be a mission to bring the compassionate God to the people and as a companion, walk with the people closer to God. Let your priesthood be a constant longing to be closer to God and a constant dedication to be compassionate to the people.